Hi, Doug Peters here again from Bluebird Labs, uh, taking a look at the effects of the different types of sleep modes on the ESP32 thing from SparkFun. Um, here's a quick look at the hardware setup that I have with the BATLAB 1 and the ESP32. Um, and what I'll do now is uh, go ahead and capture the uh, profile, the current profile for the ESP32 thing in the light sleep mode. Um, I've got a LiPo4 setup uh, output for the BATLAB 1. I'll go ahead and trigger it on uh, PSU Capture. And I'll capture about, I think it run the active events about 12.3 seconds. We'll go ahead and capture that active event and see what the current profile looks like during that active event time. And we're just about done. And about 113, call it 113 milliamps on the active event. And all this code does on the Arduino is it just uh, does a Wi-Fi scan. It does it six times. You'll see six different profiles. I missed the little bit of the last part of that active event. But I'll use the same profile uh, capture when we do the deep sleep. I'll go ahead and capture the sleep mode now. And uh, you'll see um, during the sleep mode, uh, the light sleep mode, we get about 2.4 milliamps of current draw from the ESP32 thing, which gives us about 23 and a half days of battery life on the ESP32 thing using the light sleep mode and for this particular bit of uh, code that we wrote for the Arduino. What I'll do now is go ahead and um, change the Arduino code to the deep sleep mode, and we'll see what impact that has on our overall battery life. Okay, so now I've changed the ESP32 Arduino code from light sleep mode to deep sleep mode. I'll go ahead and reset the BATLAB 1, and we use the same profile setup. Um, we'll use the same 12.3 seconds for the active current capture. And we should get uh, similar to that 113 milliamps of active current um, during this active phase, which again lasts about 12.3 seconds. And again, you see this Wi-Fi scan taking place six different times. Um, we'll go ahead and capture the sleep current now and see a very different sleep current mode, which is about 334 microamps of current draw. And I neglected to mention, I've set the sleep duration time, the time between active events at, a, at an hour, so 3,600 seconds. Um, but given that uh, change from 2.4 milliamps to the 334 microamps on the ESP32, you can see we've gone from, I believe it was 24 days up to, the, up to a now an estimated 91 days of battery life. In fact, if I put in that original 2.4 milliamps of current and optimize, you'll see yeah, it was about 23 and a half days of uh, battery life at the light sleep mode versus about 91 days uh, using the deep sleep mode of the ESP32. So again, just another example of how you can use the BATLAB 1 in your uh, battery powered projects and understanding the impact of um, different components, firmware, as well as um, different types of modes that you can set for, for the ESP32 on your overall battery life for your device. Uh, thanks again for watching, and um, you can find me on www.bluebird-labs.com.